Hello students, so this is question number 7th and question number 8th of paper 2 physics of 2021 JE advanced. So let's see what does this question says. So here is a test tube and in the test tube there is some water filled in it and we have closed the lid by keeping it in a bottle. So as of now this uh, test, tubing is, uh, test tube is being pressed downward by this lid. So basically a normal force exists between the two. Okay. Now the question also tells us that right now this volume is 3.3 cc okay so it tells us that the volume is 3.3 cc the question also tells us that the mass of the bottle is 5 gram and the density is 2.5 gram uh, per cc which basically means that the volume of the material or volume of the glass uh, or volume of this uh, uh, test tube uh, the material of the test tube that will be given by uh, 5 divided by 2.5 so it would be 2 cc okay so this is uh, the volume of this glass and this volume of this air so I can consider this entire glass along with this air as an object so this total volume of my object of such an object would be 2 plus 3.3 cc which is 5.3 cc okay so that means the buoyant force that will act on such an object will be equal to uh, uh, the 5.3 grams of water like because the density of water is given to be 1 gram per cc so the buoyant force will be equal to a uh, uh, weight which is due to 5.3 grams of water okay uh, but we only need uh, 5 gram 5 gram weight of buoyant force not more than that okay so right now since the buoyant force is more therefore this tube is pressing against the lid of the bottle okay now as we keep on increasing the pressure by you know compressing this soft plastic bottle we are increasing the value of the surrounding pressure so that is forcing this air to go inside thereby decreasing the volume this particular volume this volume remains fixed but this particular volume decreases so when this volume decreases and becomes equal to 3 at that time the buoyant force becomes exactly equal to the weight of the uh, uh, test tube and therefore that is the point where this test tube will begin coming down now the normal force between the test tube and the lid will become zero and the test tube will begin to come down okay so the change in volume of air okay that should be equal to 0.3 cc now that volume has been represented by x here so the value of x should be 0.3 okay now uh, to know the value of the extra pressure that we have exerted what we are going to do we are going to use the condition of isothermal process on the trapped air so the initial pressure was to P0 which is 10 raised to power 5 the initial volume was 3.3 the final pressure is something that we don't know and the final volume would be 3 so the final pressure becomes equals to 1.1 into 10 raised to power 5 so the increase in pressure becomes equals to 0 0.1 into 10 raised to power 5 so it becomes equals to 10 into 10 raised to power 4 okay so if i compare this value with this value uh, this is not 10 this is 1 okay so if i compare this value with this value i guess the value of y comes out to be 10 okay so according to this question x will be 0.3 and y will be 10 okay now this question wasn't a very straightforward question when i tried this question for the first time it took me a time some time to comprehend to uh, what was going on and the point that consumed most of my time was this that i considered the gas pressure to be different from the uh, atmospheric pressure but then we realized uh, that uh, since this height will not be too great we can consider the gas pressure to be equal to atmospheric pressure only and on that assumption i have solved this question so guys i hope you like the solution this was a tricky one i can say that this was the only tricky question in the entire paper hope you liked it i'll come with the next solution of the next question take care each one of you bye bye